Here at the Academy of Trades and Technology, we are all about new beginnings. Many of our projects embody new beginnings through our grant called Neogenesis. We have created an outdoor learning classroom where we grow our own organic food and learn about nutrition and healthy living. One of our activities for our outdoor classroom will be constructing a compost bin to recycle lunchroom leftovers. Composting itself has been around for ages. It is important for the environment because it is nutrient rich and retains moisture in the soil. Composting can actually divert up to 30% of household waste away from the garbage. To construct a compost bin, you'll need the following tools and supplies. Earplugs, gloves, respirator, tape measure, self-tapping screws, safety glasses, chalk line, a grinder, a power drill, and some tin. So let's get started. Using the tape measure, measure the tin two feet by two feet. With the chalk line, you're going to mark where the cuts will be made. Using a power drill and self-tapping screws, join the two ends of the tin together, overlapping them two inches. Insert weather stripping along the top edge of the bin to cover the sharp edges of the tin. After the bin has been assembled, secure the bin to the ground using six two by fours. Using a miter saw, cut the six two by fours to three feet in length. Now that it is constructed and inserted into the ground, here are some acceptable common household items that can be composted coffee grounds, banana pills, eggshells, fruit pills, and green or dried grass clippings. Some things that you should avoid composting are colored papers, meats, fats, greases, and oils because they do not break down easily and they may attract pests. Here at the Academy of Trades and Technology, we take the environment very seriously and hope you will too. As you can see, constructing a compost bin isn't that difficult. Consider creating a compost bin in your backyard to recycle household waste.